In this video, we are going to cover the View and Selection section located at the bottom of the toolbox on the left-hand side of your user interface. Let's go ahead and collapse down the other areas of the toolbox just to alleviate confusion. I'll do that by clicking on the small black arrows above each one. And uh, let's start off by looking at these buttons. We have Show Selected Actors Only, Hide Selected Actors, show all actors, and invert selections. Now those tooltips tell you exactly what these functions actually do, but let's go ahead and give a quick demonstration. We'll start off with show selected actors only. I'll select this static mesh, and let's say a couple of lights along with it by holding down control, so there's three actors selected. Let's click on show selected actors only, and everything disappears except for those three actors. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hey, I can still see the rest of the level. Well, that's because this is world geometry. Right, the only way to affect world geometry is through building of brushes. Sure. And this is an actor um, edit that we've performed, not uh, really just an actor property we've performed, not really a level edit. Therefore, the geometry stays in place. How it, that's absolutely right. But if we switch over to brush wireframe, we'll notice that the brushes themselves have disappeared. We have actually switched everything off. So let's jump back into lit mode. Now, how do we bring these back? That allows us to show another button, which is show all actors. And if we click on this, everybody comes back. Now, next to the uh, show selected actors only button, we have hide selected actors. So let's say we wanted to get this big green generator out of our way for some reason. We can select it and click on hide selected actors, and this disappears. But now we are presented with a bit of a dilemma. What if we have hidden maybe that generator, and we've hidden this piece of the floor, and maybe we've hidden this generator for some reason, but for whatever reason we wanted to bring just this generator back? Well, the first thing is we would have to know this generator's name. Now, that does make things a little bit tricky, but I happen to know, just because I glanced down at my status line when we hit it, that this is Static Mesh Actor 214. So, in order to bring this back, I can use the Search for Actors feature. And I've, you know, I've already got Static in here, but let me go ahead and just uh, clear that out. This shows all of the actors in our level. As I start to type out STAT, we uh, get all of the Static Mesh Actors listed. So as I scroll down this list, I can find Static Mesh Actor 214 and double-click on it. And let's click on the Properties button to open up its properties. And for now, I'll just collapse all of its uh, properties down. If you open up the Advanced tab, you can see the B Hidden Ed property, which is in bold, which means that the property has been changed. And that's all these show and hide uh, features are actually doing. They're just changing the B Hidden Ed property. If I make, set this to false or uncheck it, then our generator comes back to life. Now, the only tricky thing about that is, of course, you will need to know the name of the actor. In a lot of cases, these actors are named something kind of obscure, like Static Mesh Actor 216 or Point Light 103 or things like that. So you'll have to kind of keep track of the things you have hidden in order for that to work. Okay, so uh, next to this, we have the Invert Selections button. And what this is going to do is just, well, exactly what it says. It'll invert your selection. Currently, I have this generator selected. If I click on Invert Selections, I get everything but that generator selected. And if I invert again, I just have the generator itself selected. It's just a way to take whatever you had selected and invert it. And with that, we have covered all of the buttons available in the View and Selections section of the toolbox.